what just wait up what he asked for consent y'all oh my lord this chapter is so damn hot 70 chapters months waited 71 chapters endured to see that pee, pee get eaten where's my medal welcome to the good boys club Songha. i'm very proud of you before we get started i just want to remind our viewers that if you like seeing more yaoi content and would like to support this channel please don't forget to smash that like button also if you haven't done so please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell feel free to message me in my social media at sealed fujoshi which i'll be using to interact with viewers about more yaoi content if that's something that interests you feel free to follow me at sealed fujoshi finally this episode will contain explicit content and a lot of manual spoilers with that in mind, please proceed with caution. You have been warned. Now, without further ado, let's jump into chapter 71 of Painter of the Night. Sweet mother of smut. Finally, love and caring. Wait, but why is this chapter so sweet? Is the Lord finally changing? Oh my God, yes. But it's been too good. I can't tell if it's because he was deep throating like a mofo or if he's just so freaking nervous he doesn't know what to do. But please don't let anything bad happen right now. I really want to enjoy this moment. I gotta tell you though, I've been staring at this chapter and all of the beautiful panels for days ends now. The night is long, Lord Nayam. Sungha really said that. I didn't imagine it right. Gosh, I'm so freaking happy. Sungha called him Lord Nayam and I died the reverse social status what an easter egg at least now we know even Sangha reads the side story Byundak wrote <laughs> those two side stories are probably Sangha's favorite chapters from Byundak's work that he decided to do a role play of the scenes in chapter 71 <laughs> Byundak's number one fan? Sungha. Anyway, in all seriousness though, you know when chapter 71 has been updated, but it's still a cliffhanger through and through. I didn't expect the role play though, which is the switch in class. And I didn't expect such a gentle Sungha and showing subtle yet respectful gestures towards Nayam as well as Nayam showing us how deep his realization of his own feelings is towards Sangha is such a great character development for both of them that they both really needed oh my god the way Sungha looks at each and every single panel in this chapter. I too would have fallen for that bastard. My chest tightened while I was reading and rereading this chapter. Because god damn it, he is so damn fine. That last panel. Wow. Just wow. The art is truly breathtaking especially when he said i know i have wronged you in many ways <laughs> oh my god why did that give me all the feels i wanted i hope that somehow grows as a person soon because 
Now that he's starting to acknowledge all his wrongdoings and everyone needs to leave poor Niom alone, I just hope that all of these development doesn't go in vain. Addition to all of these character development though, the biggest one I saw about Nayom is the fact that Nayom is finally getting over in Hun. And this makes my heart so freaking happy. His realization that in Han is not as important as Song Ho is to him now. In Han is almost a nobody to Nayeon right now. And no matter what anyone says, I will always think that Song Ho is better than In Han because at least we know that Song Ho is honest and predictable in his own way. While In Han is a manipulative, condescending brat that we all know could never make Nayom happy. And I know that I have a lot of youngsters reading this series with me and listening to this show. And I just want to remind you, youngsters, that you cannot blow job away any kind of abuse and assault. So even though I think that Song Ha is better than In Han, and I am hopeful for a Song Ha character development, please don't think that is basic human decency because it is not realistic, okay? Everything that Song Ha has done in this series lacks human decency but then again this is a different time period but then again it doesn't change the fact that it's wrong okay. and the fact that Sung Ho thinks he can make up for all of the nonsense that he put Nayeon through the kidnapping the raping so many times embarrassing Nayam and assaulting Nayam and many many more to be honest there's a lot of bad things that Sung Ho has done to Nayam and we've seen Nayam cry several chapters because of Sung Ho's behavior and you know thinking back knowing everything Sung Ho did the Nayam makes my blood boil to be honest and you know I really do think he can never make up for all of the things he put Nayam through thankfully though this story is fiction <laughs> I just really hope that none of you youngsters sees this story as an example of a healthy relationship that you can do all of the bad things that Sung Ho did to Nayeon and think that hey I can do this and you know I can just blow someone away <laughs> and hopefully everything is forgotten please no don't ever think of it that way um because Sung Ho sucking Nayeon off will thinking that it will make up for all of the abuse and cru cruelty it's not right though I judge harshly to Sung Ho don't get me wrong because I also want to see Sung Ho redeem himself. If there is anything redeemable about Sung Ho right now. And, you know, I really do also hope that Nayeon calls out Sung Ho for all of the bad things he has put Nayeon through. So, I kind of see... I see all sides of the story. That's why, as a fan, I am also torn because 
I know that Songho is not the best person for Nayeon, but I'm also a romanticist that I can't say no to that face and that vibe that comes out of Songha. But I'm also hoping for the best for Nayeon that he stands his ground and, you know, he finds what he's really looking for so i'm really really torn in this series but it's so freaking addicting and i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one who feels like this because you guys are listening to this podcast for the exact same reason um but yeah like a part of me also believes that Songha is genuinely trying Ultimately, though, it's up to Nayeon. From what I see, it seems like Nayeon is sane enough to set his own boundaries. And most surprisingly, thing is, Songha did in this chapter was respecting that boundary. That's why a part of me is hopeful that there is still something redeemable in this series and i know that in the beginning i'm super harsh with my criticism but um i also doubt that his character will regress because somehow has no choice but to change since in this chapter we know that somehow knows that Nayeon is frightened and if he really wants to protect Nayeon from the threats especially the upcoming chapters knowing what the enemy is plotting and everything that Byunduk has set up everything that's about to unfold will spur Sungha's character development along because he has to reconcile with his childhood trauma and the crazy lifestyle he's been leading if he really wants to have a future with our baby boy Nayeon. Also off topic, but Lord Nayeon, is that some kind of foreshadowing? Is there something going on that Byunduk is trying to set up in this series i don't know let me know in the comment section below and um just being honest though we have been getting two peaceful chapters right now and i think shit is about to happen i don't think in the next chapter i think chapter 72 is still going to be a pretty peaceful chapter but we're gonna start seeing some movement that is going to steer some drama in chapter 73 maybe but man this sudden change is scaring me but the only thing is i'm very happy with the whole lord nayam thing and this character development is all about giving <laughs> because Lord Songha is finally showering Nayeon with a lot of love but man kudos to Byunduk chapter 71 is honestly so beautiful and wholesome the fact that Songha is trying to make amends and Nayeon realizing that he likes Songha. I really hope this stays like this because if not, we know that the possibility of Nayam getting hurt is really high again. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to 
follow my social media to be teased about some of the boys' love that I'm interested in. Feel free to leave my message and converse with me in my Discord channel. I'd love to hear back from you. And please consider supporting the show by donating as little as 99 cents through www.sealedfujoshi.xyz. Also, don't forget to support the author. All the manual details can be found in the description below. Again, thank you so much and hope to see you next time.